What is up guys, welcome back to another Arena of Valor video and today we will be taking a look at the brand new patch notes for Arena of Valor. There was a patch yesterday on the European, NA and Latin America server and I think the Indian server should be on this patch as well and um, Taiwan, Vietnam servers and stuff, they are getting this patch as well very soon I think. So um, yeah, we will be getting right into the um, balance notes because everything here is Carano chess. I'm sorry guys, okay? I'm sorry. If they open ranked, we will look at those maybe, but right now, not really too interested. There we go. So first of all, we have a Kilgroth buff, a pretty significant one, I think, as well. Um, if you guys didn't know, Kilgroth is already pretty decent in the Slayer lane. He can jungle as well, and I think this buff is gonna make him pretty strong. Uh, the first skill is getting nerfed overall. Um, the base damage is getting nerfed. The AD ratio is going up. They're overall just buffing the AD ratio, so we might see a, like a more aggressive build, maybe with a Fenrir coming through. That would be pretty fun. I will try that definitely, but um, yeah, highly likely it won't be the case, but we'll see. Anyway, first of all, base damage of the skill is getting nerfed a little bit, as you can see here. And the slowdown is getting nerfed as well. Early game it's buffed, but for the rest of the game it's gonna be a nerf in the slow. But I don't think that will matter too much. Um, because you don't really... The slow doesn't really do too much. So I, I don't think this nerf is gonna make the upcoming buffs here um, counteract them. I think this is still gonna be a net buff. Because his base damage on the S2 is again getting a little bit nerfed. But that is the um, the S2 gives you a passive, so if you don't activate it, every third auto attack is this base damage that is getting nerfed. However, the active state is getting a big buff. Um, just overall, a base damage increase on that active state of the S2, which is of course a lot of Kilgroff's damage, so this is a very nice little buff for him. And then the HP region is getting buffed as well by a very significant amount, base and an AD ratio buff as well. So again, that is why I think maybe we'll see some funny, uh, very aggressive builds on him. And then they're also reducing the cooldown of it by one second at the last point. So that is, again, I think uh, you already, if you play Kilgraf, you already run him with Devil's Awakening, so you can use your S2 twice and stuff, and this, this is just gonna make it even better. So I do think Kilgroff is going to be pretty decent. I will test him for you guys. I will make a video on him soon. And um, yeah, we'll see how it uh, will turn out. I think this is a very decent buff. He's already pretty good. This is just going to make him even better. And now we finally have Arduin getting buffed. This hero was absolute garbage for a year now. Ever since AOV 3.0, he doesn't have an enchantment. Okay, no good enchantments for him. And that is why he just wasn't that good man and he still doesn't have it let's see if the buff is gonna be enough first skill cooldown is getting reduced by a second that is pretty decent um, it's gonna help him for sure skill 2 undying protector um, they're basically buffing the base damage and the AD ratio of the explosion when you when you cast the shield right it causes an explosion around you and they're buffing that it's not gonna do too much is a decent um, increase but you don't really use that too often what is going to do a lot though, is the true damage buff on the auto attacks after your S2. Um, a whopping 25 increase at all levels, that is going to mean a lot, you know, if you hit the enemy, let's say three times, you already have almost a free, um, uh, another hit, you know, so it is going to do a lot. I think I will definitely try him again with my juicy Fafnir's build, you know, that's how we like to play him on this channel and yeah, we'll definitely try him. I think it's going to be much better than before. And now we have a Batman getting buffed as well. So that is very exciting because I like Batman, you know. We want to be level 2 against the level 1 enemies, you know. The support Batman will definitely try it out again after this. And um, yeah, they're buffing the HP region of skill 2. Um, you know, after you trigger the mark, it heals you. And they're buffing that by a ton of um, AD ratio, right? Now, you need to have 160 AD to break even on the base healing nerf, 
but that is very simple because you have a base, a base AD and you have a rank breaker which gives you 150 I believe so you're already over that and then you go Fender your second item and then you will heal a juicy amount okay so we will definitely be trying that out maybe even with the increased healing enchantment maybe it will work we'll see but um, yeah and they're also buffing the cooldown on his ultimate now level one not big not a big decrease one second only but level one or level four batman is already a really strong hero but he's really weak late game so they're nerfing it by nine seconds i mean buffing it from 24 to 15 seconds that is absolutely insane you know usually i would see a batman early game and i would be like man i i, I better dodge that guy you know but you then late game 10 minutes later, I'm, I'm laughing into his face because I bought an armor item and he can't one-shot me anymore. But I hope um, after this patch, it will it will push him a little bit into um, more of a late-game hero because he is really fun. And you know, usually you see Batman, you tell him, I don't care if you're Batman, you're Madman. The only guy I'm dodging is the tax man. And hopefully this buff will make it so... We don't only dodge the tax man, okay? We dodge the Batman as well. Anyway, moving on to Jinnar. Um, this is a really juicy buff, okay? I think we might see some tanky Gaia's um, healing enchantment Jinnar, similar to Marja from last patches. Uh, still, this patch even. Um, I, I do. I think this will be pretty juicy if it actually um, is as good as it seems on paper. So first of all, skill one. The orbs are getting. A little nerf in damage, base damage, and AP ratio, but they're also getting cooldown reduced, okay? So the DPS is probably gonna stay similar. Now, the cool thing is though, they're adding a mechanism where um, upon hitting enemy or enemy heroes, Jinnar will restore um, a decent amount of health with this skill. Now, we don't know if every bounce will restore that amount, I think that will be too much. But I think you, you just heal once, and it, it's similar to Marja's heal, you know, on the S2. So I do think this can become pretty good for team fights and the lower cooldown. Keep in mind, the lower cooldown also makes you easier to proc your passive, which is the most damage in Jinnar's kit, honestly. And um, yeah, this seems like a really nice buff. We will definitely, I will try to push out a Jinnar video today. We'll see if I succeed, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Anyway. Definitely the most exciting about this, um, the most excited about this. Now Marja is getting another nerf, she's getting hit a lot, but I do think it's kind of deserved because it is a very brain dead um, mage and you can you can win a lot, okay? I have like a I have like a 75% win rate on Marja on the new, newest patch solo queue, right? So it is a little bit too much um, and yeah, it, it, she can just do so much and especially the biggest issue of her is that her speed with her new passive was just way too high. They're nerfing that straight away. So I think that still will be pretty, like a lot. It will still be really good, but the 2% was just a little bit too much. And then the, whoops. Then the skill three is getting the cooldown nerfed as well. Remember they buffed it two patches ago and it is just a little bit too low in the late game. So they're buffing it to 30 seconds. This might be a little bit too much because they already nerfed her last patch. We'll see about, um, yeah, we'll have to see about that. Now, D-Rock finally getting a nerf. I do think this is the best mid lane hero on this patch and probably still the best mid lane hero because his damage is absolutely insane if you're able to use it correctly, right? If you use his kit correctly and spam a couple S1s, you deal so much damage. If you use your auto attacks of your ult, it is absolutely insane, but the damage isn't the big issue, I think, because he needs to be played very well to abuse his damage and um, he needs to have a certain setup, you know, he needs to have good positioning and stuff. So it's deserved, you know, if other heroes have good positioning, they can do a ton of damage as well. So, but what the issue was is his S2 has a billion range and it just CCs you for 15 seconds in a row, right? And it's completely brain dead. You just press it, right? It's absolutely brain dead. So that is getting nerfed, the range of the second stage of the skill is narrowed and the minimum delay between two knockbacks is increased. So I think um, you will be able to just walk out if you have um, uh, the Guild of Griefs. I'm pretty sure because you were almost able to do it before, 
this patch, but we'll have to see, man. They're just saying it is delayed. They're not saying by how much, so, you know, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, next, um, max buff, but it is a very small buff. Um, you, the Basically, if you activated ult before the patch, you had six seconds where the enemies are revealed and you can jump to them, and now you will have more time. You will have 10 seconds, which, of course, reveals the enemies for 10 seconds as well, so it's pretty cool. But I do think Max has much more issues than that. Um, yeah, we'll have to see. Now, they explained a lot about Lavil getting nerfed. Um, it's a very small nerf, and it's the last change for this patch. It is just his passive um, is gonna make him deal less damage against monsters. So they don't want him to jungle. I already think he shouldn't be jungling because he has so much wave clear and stuff. He should be a side lane. But he is able to jungle pretty fast, which is stupid, <laughs> which is one of the things that make him really annoying. So, um, yeah, they're just trying to remove that, and I hope they succeeded with that. It, it seems like a lot, 40% reduction at level 1, that seems like a lot. So, I hope this is gonna fix that, because Lavil is meant to be a laner, and um, yeah, I hope this will make him a little bit more in line, because he is, at the moment, very insanely broken. I think he's still gonna be broken, but... Um, yeah, that is pretty much going to be it for this patch today. As I said, I'm going to try to push out a Jinnar um, video later today if I, am, if I succeed. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like. If you have any um, feedback about the changes, if you tried any heroes, let me know in the comments. And um, yeah, other than that, I will see you guys later today, hopefully. Peace out, boys. Bye-bye.